In this video, we're going to cover the operation and the menu options of the E-Trap remote. We can control up to three traps with the E-Trap remote, using buttons 1, 2 and 3. You can also fire two traps simultaneously using the true pair button. First of all, we're going to code in the remote into the transceiver. We're going to code button 1 into this one here. You press and hold the code button until the blue LED comes on. Remove your finger. Press button 1 on the remote once, twice, third time. It's now coded. We're going to do the same to this transceiver here. Wait till that blue LED comes on. Press button 2 once, twice, three times. It's now coded. And number 3 into this one here. Once, twice, three times, and it's coded. Now you'll see button one will now activate this transceiver here. Number two will activate this one, and number three will activate this one. Now the true pair is allocated to buttons one and two. So when we press this, these two transceivers will activate here. Now to change that, we can go into the menu by pressing and holding the menu button. We just press and tap the TP button. You'll see the TP LED is on, and you'll see the buttons that are allocated, which are one and two at this point. We'll change it to two and three. We'll remove our menu button, and when we press that, we'll see these two over here fire. We can also go in and suspend a button. So to prevent somebody from pressing a button on a trap that you don't want to be activated on that particular remote, you can simply press the menu button, press and hold number one until you see the suspend lead come on. And we're going to choose a button, let's say num button number three. And now when we remove the uh, menu button, we press button three. It doesn't work. So button two is activating and button one is activating. Now, to change that, we'll just follow the same procedure. Press and hold the menu button. Press and hold button one until the suspend lead comes on. We'll see number three is showing here. We turn it off and remove our finger off the menu button and it's back working again. We now decide that if we want to change a trap allocation, like we want this trap here to operate on button three and not button one, Again, press and hold the code button, wait till the blue LED comes on. This time we don't release our finger, and we press button three. See all the LEDs flash then? So when we press button three now, this transceiver will activate, and this one over here will still activate because we have that coded into that one as well. So to change that one, follow the same procedure. Press and hold the code button blue LED comes on, we keep our finger on the button, and we press button one, all the LEDs flash. This one's now coded into button one. This is coded back into button three, and number two is where it always was. So that basically covers changing allocations and the menu options of the E-Trap remote. Um, we'll cover some more features in a later video.